Hey everybody, Trainer Joe here with the one word that prevents weight loss. This is most likely affecting your efforts to lose weight. So let's look at it. What is the one word? Any guess? The one word is entitled. We have a culture that is just that way. And, and I'm not getting on people for that. I'm just wanting you to see it because when you begin to see the reality and the truth of it, it's easier to deal with it. Entitled means believing that you're inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. And when it comes to eating, we're kind of that way. Well, there's plenty out there. I can afford it. There it is. Why not eat it as if it makes sense to eat it? And some people will say, well, Joe, what, you got to eat. I mean, what are you talking about here? Well, I'm talking about, yes, I fully agree with that. You got to eat. We love to eat. The eating's wonderful. It's a blessing. Not taking anything away with that. But when you're struggling with your weight, you got to look at, well, you ate, but then you ate some more. What does entitled look like? What does it actually mean? If you want to simplify what it means, here's how I would explain it. It's like, let's say your goal is to weigh 150 pounds, and this cup represents what you eat in a day. That will cause you to weigh what you ought to, 150 pounds. But what you do is you eat that, and then you, for whatever reason, entitled, you decide to eat some more. It's entitled. You're entitled to it. I felt like eating more. I, I didn't feel like I had enough. And you you realize, I had enough, but you kept eating. I went on a men's retreat over the weekend, and they, they served some good meals. And breakfast might be pancakes. You can eat two, you can eat five. Lunch, you're going to have lunch, pulled pork or something like that, and then some dessert, like these big sugar cookies they had. You're going to eat a cookie? Why? You're entitled to it. You can eat two of them? Why? Because you're entitled to it. At dinner, they're going to have dessert again. You're going to have dessert for lunch and dinner. Why are you? Hey, you're overweight. Why are you eating dessert? Everybody else is eating it. There's nothing wrong with dessert. I'm entitled to it. Later that night, after everything is wrapping up, they bring out tubs of ice cream with chocolate chips, sprinkles. you got to have sprinkles. Syrup, caramel syrup, chocolate syrup. You're going to have some? Well, why wouldn't you? You're entitled to it. Then we wonder, what kind of diet do I need to be the right weight? You didn't ever need a diet. You just needed to realize you're not entitled to all that. And I was even talking to a friend and they said, well, it's vacation. Give me a break. Hey, your whole life is a vacation. There's always going to be ice cream opportunities. There's always dessert opportunities. You've got to realize I am here because I felt like I deserve this. What are you talking about? I get it, but you've got you need to start saying, what are you talking about? You don't you're not entitled to dessert after every meal. And once you come to terms and you realize I've been entitled, I've been entitled, then it makes sense to fight. Then it makes sense to give up dessert. Well, I eat it. Well, why not eat it? And then you're thinking, well, here's why not. I'm overweight and I'm not entitled to that. Then you can understand why maybe you don't eat bread with every meal. Or you've decided, crazy as it might be, you've decided you just don't eat that. That's impossible to do when you feel like you're entitled to it. So it's, it's kind of like this. If you turn it into a, a financial thing, well, you got to buy stuff, right? But imagine somebody comes to your place of business every day and they're selling purses and you see a purse you just love. And you buy a purse. They come back the next day. Oh, I love this purse too. You buy another purse. When do you stop buying purses? When you stop loving purses? No, you run out of money. But when we eat, we're like, there's never, I never run out. I can always have more. But Joe, I deserve to feel full. I deserve my favorite desserts. I deserve pleasure when I'm really stressed out. I deserve it because I don't smoke, so I should get to eat desserts. I deserve it because my spouse is of no help to me. So I should be up there, and that's how we think we're entitled to it. I'm entitled to cake. Let's wrap up with this. I was talking to one girl. She'd lost a lot of weight. She was out with her friends, and they said, hey, we're going to have some cake. She said, no, I'm not going to have cake. I got cake still on my body from years, years ago. And you know what? I've had my cake. For 40 years, I had cake. How much cake do you need? If you need some help with this, the easiest way that I know for you to get your mind wrapped around this so you can finally win, the easiest, the simplest, there's lots of ways that, that you could really get into, but the easiest would be just read my book, 
we'll, we've got a link here just below so you can click on that and get my book on Amazon. You can get the Kindle or you can get the paperback. Read the book. This will start making a lot more sense to you. Here to help you. Be sure and subscribe to the, my channel so you don't miss any video. If this is something that's been a struggle for you, you need to begin feeding yourself the mindset, what it's going to take for you to get the breakthrough. Because you get the mindset, you're going to start to win this thing and you're going to love it. And if you want me to come speak to your church or your group or your business, we can do a Zoom call and really encourage you guys to, to get this taken care of. Would love to help. I'm Trainer Joe, helping you train your brain and transform your body.